this Saturday is the big local first fall festival, and us here at AZTV uh, Channel 7 is very excited to be a part of it, and that's why Thomas Barr is with us. I'm so us, excited to be here. Yeah, this is great, because yeah. this is a festival about local, I, I kind of make sure I want to say the words, entrepreneurs, yeah. people who want to connect with the community, yeah. and that's what Local First is all about. Absolutely. You come to this event and it, we call it Certified Local because you can know for sure that every vendor there is a local business in Arizona. Yeah. yeah. Even State 48 that you have on, State these guys have been yep. blowing up. Like these, Their apparel has been amazing. They have, and each year at the Fall Festival we, re we release a new Localist t-shirt. This is our new one this year. The first time you can get it is Saturday at the Fall Festival. All right. and, I, and I love that you have all the different people here. And let's talk about Local First and what they do because yep. that's important where people are like well I hear about local first we get a little touch here but I am starting to see many of companies and businesses that you guys are a part of. Yeah, so Local First Arizona has been around for about 16 years. We're the largest local business coalition in the country. So we represent over 3,500 Arizona-based businesses of all shapes and sizes. Everything from unique boutiques and restaurants and coffee shops to printing companies and web developers and graphic designers. So there's a huge community of entrepreneurs in Arizona that we represent. All right, and if I'm someone out there right now, how do I get into, of course, local? First. Yeah, we've got a great website. You can go to localfirstaz.com and we've got a directory where you can search all of those 3,500 businesses, whether you're looking for a gift to give to somebody for the holidays, or maybe you're looking for a new local coffee shop in your neighborhood. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right, let's get to business because we were just showing about the festival. Absolutely. This is great. 15th anniversary. 15th anniversary. 15 years ago, we were in the parking lot of Duck and Decanter on 16th Street in Camelback. There's maybe 400 people that showed up, a couple wineries. Now we're at Hans Park in downtown Phoenix, the largest free event in downtown Phoenix now. And again, we're talking about meeting, connecting with a lot of our local businesses and you want everyone to come down Absolutely. starts at 10 o'clock goes yep. until 4 so what a great morning great afternoon. we're supposed to actually you ready for the weather temperature 82 82, 82. but you have all these and people I just saw of uh, actually some celebrities uh, who are part of this too there are yeah um, if you have heard of Ken Koshio before he's a famous international taiko drummer he's gonna be out there performing uh, that afternoon and we actually have three stages with different local performances happening all day uh, there's 200 vendors 20 food trucks it's free so even if you don't want to spend any money you can come and just experience the festival it's kid friendly it's dog friendly there's a sports zone how much more do I need to tell you there you go <laughs> and I like the part that you said free but bring your wallets because you're definitely going to buy from some of these vendors Absolutely. because again which is so important is connecting the community so it's this Saturday 10 to 4 at the Margaret T. Hanson Park our street team's going to be out there. We're excited, and I'm going to be out there talking yeah. to people. I think we're going to bring Steve Harvey. We're going to give some prizes away. Live? We're going to uh, I can't say. You just have to show up and say, Thomas. <laughs> it's all, all right. It's all, all right. Thank you for being here. Yes, thank you.